competitive book reader. <laughs> I'm still in the minor leagues, averaging only about 75 to 100 books a year, but I'm still out there every day, you know, bench pressing fantasy series or something, right? <laughs> but I'm up here specifically tonight to talk about book pairing. It's pretty straightforward. It plays off the concept of wine pairing just a little too much sometimes. <laughs> I actually call my pairs double fisting for book lovers. <laughs> Though, <laughs> you can call it something classier if you want. <laughs> At a certain point, I realized that I wanted to get more out of my reading. It was easy to race through those 75 books a year without any of them leaving a deeper mark. And so now I pair books with other things, real life things, in order to learn more about each of them. I've paired books with wine, food, seasons of the year, fitness challenges, and other books. So some of my pairings. I read The Iliad because a new novel, The Song of Achilles, retold the story from a different perspective, and I wanted to read its inspiration. Now, there was a certain point while reading The Iliad that I ran out to my husband and told him that I had read my fourth disembowelment of the night and that, my, that Homer had that the movie 300 had nothing on Homer. <laughs> However, I was also stunned to see how this ancient author had used metaphor to create something so beautiful from death. By the wound slit, as by a doorway, life left him in haste, and darkness closed his eyes. I read The Great Gatsby, and with the help of some great friends at Total Wine, we found three amazing alcohols to pair with the book. <laughs> now, now, that idea for The Great Gatsby, it started with pairing alcohol with a book, progressed to a girls and guys champagne and martini nights, to my mother-in-law then handing out copies of the book and bottles of the champagne as presents together. She's over there, you should be her friend. <laughs> I read The Dove Keepers, and I connected to that book by cooking lentil stew, which they're always cooking in that book. Note to self, don't add pork sausage to a stew that you're pairing with a book about ancient Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> I read My Life in France by Julia Child and Blood, Bones, and Butter by Gabriel Hamilton to compare two women who made their lives in the kitchen and how the intervening years changed their stories. I didn't want to buy a file cabinet. So I took the ideas from David Allen's Getting Things Done and incorporated them into my life by using Google Drive and Google Calendar. I'm going to let this go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I read The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making, which is a huge title, with some port, because the modern whimsical fairy tale begged to be enjoyed with the sharp sweetness of port. Also, because I love port. <laughs> Eventually, I wanted to get behind the story to what authors thought, and I read On Writing by Stephen King in the broad collection of author interviews from the literary magazine, The Paris Review. So, I pair books because I think we all need to add another layer to the way we think about reading. And let me tell you what happened. I did more. I read more, yes, let's not get past that. But I also went to more author readings, on Friday nights even. I created pairings that required me to get input from others who knew more about the subject. Sometimes I would just bring up the idea of book pairing to people, and it would start a conversation about all the books that they would loved and what they would want to pair them with. It turned out to be a lot more interesting and fulfilling than just sitting and reading books, you know, by myself. So. <laughs> For my final pairing tonight, I've put together some kind of swaggy bookmarks with recommendations for all of you, because I'd love a chance to meet all the other book lovers out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have recommendations for sports fans, literature snobs, business people, foodies, geeks, and especially all the people who loved reading about the tonal differences in the color gray. So, <laughs> come see me after the show to get one. Thank you, and enjoy your pairings.